Okay, so here we are and we're on part three. We're going to create a story using expert mode. So let's click on the plus sign down here. We'll click on expert and you'll see this is slightly different. Um, so enter the story title. Again, we'll call it the zoo. Now we're creating this in the main folder section, not under the uh, sample stories. And I'll show you what, that's, what I mean by that in a second. Uh, voice, we will um, put it on Ryan this time. And transition, let's do um, reveal. And about, you can fill in information, the author, copyright, if you want to get into that um, sort of thing. So pages, now you'll click on the plus. You'll add a picture. Uh, zoo, so let's pick one of these. And we'll use that. Uh, top label, bottom label, speak, both labels, voice, default voice, uh, and so on. So you've got the record here, the text here, and none here. So it's kind of all in one page. Uh, everything is on here. So top label, uh, we'll say, um, welcome to the zoo. Bottom label is loads of fun. Uh, we'll leave that text. We will read both labels. Um, if you click on this, you can speak both labels, speak the top label, speak the bottom label, or speak custom text. And we'll do one of those in a little bit, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, the voice is the default voice, and you can preview um, preview the page and the sound if you want to. We're just going to click done and um, so what we've got here is welcome to the zoo. So we've actually created our first page here. Now if we go to create the picture of the zoo, uh, let's just use one of these. Um, that will do that. Now to add another page you basically keep going through it like we did before but everything is on one page like I like I showed you and um, let's go down to the piggies and we'll piggy very smelly and what we're gonna do is um, we're going to have it speak some custom text. So, go back from there. So, that's going to speak the custom text in the default voice. We'll change that over to Heather. Go back out and we can preview. Let's click Done. Let's create one more page for you here. I think you're getting the idea of this by now, how simple it is to uh, to do. It really is a, a blast once you um, once you get the hang of uh, what you what you you know need to press in order and so on. Um, so let's not put any text on on this picture. We're just going to record. When we went to the zoo, oh, sorry, I have to press this. When we went to the zoo, we saw this very pretty bird. He was orange and green and yellow, and he made me smile. Okay, we'll click done. So we'll keep that, and um, we won't change anything on there. And let's click done. Okay, so now you see what happens is sample stories. Um, I created the folder on the main title screen and not under these folders where we created the last one. So this goes back to the library and now we created the story in the library. And we'll just go through this. The zoo. Welcome to the zoo. Loads of fun. They were very dirty. 
So that was the custom text and nothing to do with what was on the screen. They were very dirty. And this one will be my voice with no text on the screen whatsoever. When we went to the zoo, we saw this very pretty bird. He was orange and green and yellow, and he made me smile. And that's it. And obviously you continue to go through that, read the story again, back to the library. So we'll go back out. And um, that kind of brings us to the end of... Uh, doing things on expert mode. As you can see, set up a little bit differently, a uh, little bit more options on, on what to do with the text um, and so on. In the final part, we're just going to look at sharing uh, the information you have to the server. So that's the end of part three.